Hey folks, welcome to Fireflies Follies. I hope that you enjoy the video today. If you do, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out a lot. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you will and that you'll stick around for a while. Today, I bet you can guess I'm working in onions. I'm actually going to be canning some caramelized onions. So I thought I would bring you along and show you what it is that I do. Now, to start with, I am going to take off the root end and put it in my scraps. Uh, there's dirt there and I don't want to take a chance on that getting in my stock because I'm also going to make onion stock. I like to keep it on hand for when I make French onion soup. So to get them started, I'm going to skin them and I'm going to put the blossom end, I think is what it's called, and that outer ring that we all peel off and the skins into the pot for my instant pot. And I'm going to make vegetable broth. I have some extra celery and carrots that I'm going to toss in with it as well. So I'm going to get all of these peeled and ready to go into the chopper and when I get that done I will slow things down and I will show you what it is that I do with them. Instapot filled with the skins and the non root ends, and then all of my root ends I tossed into my little garbage pit over here, which is a bowl that hides away. So I'm going to put these in the Instapot and I'm going to run them at high pressure for 15 minutes twice. Now I've got some baby carrots that are at the end of their life, and I'm going to do some trimming on some celery a little bit later, so I'll be adding that in as well. All right, so what I have is called the Vegematic. It's a dicer, chopper, slicer type thing, but it works on downward pressure, and it's on a spring. And it comes with, I've got the large, oops, sorry to rock you guys. I have the large slicing blade in, but it comes with a very fine slicing blade, an apple wedger, a fine dice, and a large dice. So I will tell you that if you have arthritis or anything wrong with your hands, or even if you don't and you're doing huge amounts of vegetables, this thing is an absolute lifesaver. And I'll leave a link in the description below if anybody is interested in getting one. They're not very expensive. I think they're around $20, $25. I've had this one for a while. It does come in other colors besides red as well. So what I've done is I put about a quarter cup of butter in the bottom of my stock pot. And I have it on medium now, just getting everything kind of, I'm going to let the butter do its thing over here. I've, I'm going to quarter onions, and I'm going to slice them. Let's see if quartering these is going to make them small enough. These are some big onions. Okay. And just like that, they are sliced. That wedge is a bit big. And you simply lift it off. I have sliced onions. I'm going to dump them in the pot. Now, 
this keeps things from going everywhere as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of these quartered and sliced up and in the pot. I'm going to play some music while I do it and I'm going to speed things up because you really don't want to watch me and I can assure you, you don't want to listen to this thing slam onions. So once I get these done, I will be back to talk to you some more. So that is roughly, what size was that bag? 10 pounds of onions that I have peeled and sliced in quarters. It's not super thin, but that's the way I like my, car my caramelized onions. So I have my burner on low and this is not a fast process, y'all. It's not. These are going to go, I put the quarter, about a quarter cup of butter in the bottom. I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to walk away. And these are going to go on low for probably three hours. I'll stop by about every 20 minutes or so and give them a little stir. After about half an hour, I'll start stopping by and giving them a little stir. And they are going to cook down. When we are done, it's going to be down, they'll cook down by about half and they will caramelize. So I will keep checking it and once I get them all caramelized, I will bring you back. Okay, the onions have cooked down and they have caramelized into a gorgeous golden. So I'm going to jar these up. Now I am canning these in half pints, that's a cup. And if I need more, I can open more, but I usually don't need more than a cup. I eat these on steak, of course, with mushrooms and, and caramelized onions. I love a patty melt. So I eat them on patty melts on a regular basis. And I love them on pork chops. I think they're great. So anywhere that you would use caramelized onion, open a jar and you have caramelized onions ready to go. Now I will tell you that these cooked for about four hours. At three hours, they were completely softened, but they just weren't that beautiful golden caramel color. And I think I overfilled that. Yep, I need to grab a spoon. Now I am taking these to right out a half inch headspace. Do that carefully. All right. And I'm not sure just how many jars I will get. This was 10 pounds of onions. The bad thing about the funnel in these little jars is you can't tell at the top just where you're at. Now that I've got them filled, I'm going to debubble them. And I'm just going to use that spoon to top these up.
that worked out pretty perfectly. So I have my bowl of vinegar water, as always, and my piece of paper towel. I'm going to clean the rims. Now this serves two purposes. When I'm getting them ready, I always check my rims for any nicks or chips or imperfections, but this gives you a second chance to not only clean anything off the rim, but also to check it and make sure nothing happened while you were processing your jars. And we are pressure canning, so I am not heating my lids. I'm just putting my lids straight on. And then rings, fingertip tight. I'm going to get these in the canner. I'm going to bring it up to a full stream of steam from the vent pipe. Once it has vented for 10 minutes, I'm going to bring these up to pressure and I'm going to process these for 70 minutes. And once that is done, I will bring you back and show you how they turned out. Okay, our onions have finished processing. And the light on so you can see. So they smell so good. Always. Caramelized onions just smell amazing. And that is what we ended up with. A jar of beautifully caramelized onions. Now, like I said, I use these for a lot of things. I actually use them to make a quick French onion soup if I don't have any canned. It's just really handy to have caramelized onions ready to go. I think my favorite though is probably a patty melt. I do patty melt minus the bun with caramelized onions pretty often. So 10 pounds of onions gave me 10 half pints or 10 cups of caramelized onions and I'm going to leave these sitting here for several hours and then I'll move them to my dining room to finish cooling and then sometime tomorrow I will come back, I will take off the rings, I'll check the seals, wash the jars, I just heard one seal, wash the jars, label them and put them in my pantry and I will have them whenever I need caramelized onions. They're good on the shelf for a year or two. This is about a year's worth for me. That's typically what I can is six months to a year worth at a time. So easy peasy happens in the background while you're not doing a whole lot of anything else until it's time to jar them up. Once you get past the, all the crying that goes into cutting them. I really hope that you enjoyed the video today. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope that you will and that you'll stick around for a little while. If you hit the notification bell, YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video based on your settings. Thank you so much for watching today. Have a great day.